What is up you guys? It's your girl Rob and welcome back to my channel. Today it is June 30th. It is the last day of the month. Time is flying by. I am 27 weeks and one day. So this is my last week in being in my second trimester and I am almost in month seven. Let me show you guys a baby bump. He or she is getting huge, y'all. So, you guys, I forgot to include me being 13 weeks and what all happened at 13 weeks. But at 13 weeks, that's when I noticed that my nose began to be dry sometimes when I would wake up. And that's when I would have blood in my nose sometimes. It, it wasn't like a nosebleed, but like it would just be like blood on the tissue when I would blow my nose. I also noticed that I became more gassy in the second trimester, like at the beginning. And it's like still going on right now. And also my gums started to bleed. So I had to like change my toothbrush to like a softer toothbrush. And like the gums like on my two front teeth because I had like a, a permanent retainer from when I had braces and then like down here at the bottom and like it sometimes it'll be bad and then sometimes it'll be okay but what I found to help was changing the toothbrush using Listerine and making sure I'm flossing almost every day and that kind of like helps it and then sometimes I would put coconut oil on it but when it first started to happen I was like what's going on i didn't like it but make sure you you know you stay on your oral hygiene because some folks be losing teeth and i ain't got time to be losing no teeth <laughs> so we'll get right back into the video the way i noticed when i was 18 weeks was first i felt the baby kick i know a lot of people been asking me have the baby been kicking yes the baby has been kicking the baby has been kicking a lot now but i first felt the kick april 28th so like the last week of april that's when i was like noticing it was very like i didn't even know that maybe i was feeling the kick i couldn't really tell it kind of just felt like my stomach was just like cramping from gas like maybe i had to like <laughs> pass gas like i couldn't really tell but on april 28th it was like a feeling i was like okay yeah this this ain't gas like this this gotta be the baby moving <laughs> but at first i really couldn't tell like it was i just knew there was a weird feeling going on but it just really just felt like gas that first felt the baby kick may 10th uh it took a couple of days before he could feel it i felt like the kids wasn't as strong to be felt on the outside but starting may 10th he finally felt how i felt to feel the baby kick I also started having some low back pain, especially on my left side. This is also around the time I started going to the chiropractor and I also noticed that the chiropractor was helping cause like for the, probably like a week or two at work, like that left side was like making my sciatic hurt, but it wasn't like a bad pain, but I could notice that I was feeling some tension and you know some tightness in the area and at this point i haven't had a massage since last year so i knew that just for one the type of work i do and then being pregnant on top of that that my body was tight and tense and stuff and so once i went to the chiropractor it definitely relieved that tension in my low back hips and pelvic area so if you're able to go to the chiropractor i definitely recommend going for real I should have started off first with this, you guys. The second trimester, at least at the beginning, my boobs was not as sore as they was in the first one. Because y'all remember the way I was telling y'all how I knew I was pregnant. Them things were so sore. Now they more so just, they just deal. They, they big. Now, I know they deal. But they're like, they just deal. They just soft, regular, no pain. But the first, the first trimester, oh yeah, you knew that was there. The bra let you know it was there. Everything like sensitive to touch. They're still sensitive to like the shower head. So like I still have to like cover them up when I'm taking a shower, just cause if the water hits it, 
I feel it and I don't like that feeling. But other than that, they've been fine. I finally got me a, a pregnancy pillow. I've been sleeping with that. I'm now I was at the time it was comfortable, but now it's kind of still feel like slight uncomfortable, like sleeping on it. I guess maybe I haven't found like the right position to lay on, or just being pregnant, sleeping in general, maybe maybe just be uncomfortable. Who knows? But I do recommend getting a pregnancy pillow. It definitely helps, though. I do like sleeping with it and then like cuddling up to it. Also, in the second trimester, I noticed that I am super, 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 super more hungry than the first trimester. Like, I ate in the first trimester, but, like, I kind of felt like I wasn't eating enough. But in the second trimester, I feel like I'm eating a lot. I'm like, I literally just ate, like, what's going on? So, like, my appetite definitely increased in the second trimester. I also gained a little bit. I ain't gonna say a little bit. Most of my weight inside the second trimester versus the first trimester. The first trimester, I think I gained maybe like five pounds. I'm not exactly sure. It's in my previous videos, y'all seen. But like the second trimester, your girl gained a lot. I was a little nervous to go to one of my prenatal appointments because I was just like, yeah, she finna say, ma'am, you might need to slow down and do some exercises because you're gaining a little too much. But it wasn't as bad as I thought it was when I went. I also noticed that it feels like I'm like eating a lot because I have to eat in smaller portions. I noticed that because like as the baby grow, your organs and stuff on the inside is shifting so you can't eat and do things as you was pre-pregnancy. I didn't know. I mean, I knew that, but I didn't know that my body was in that position at that time i don't know if that makes sense but i realized that i had to like eat smaller portions because for one your body takes a longer time to digest the food but i noticed it because i ate something one day and i just felt stuff like like just stuff and it was like hours after and then like when it was time for bed i kind of felt weird and I ended up throwing up. That's the first and the only time I threw up, but I feel like I only threw up just because my food wasn't digested. It was just sitting, so it had to come out somewhere. And so now I've been trying to intentionally like eat smaller portions, make myself stop, because sometimes I feel full, and then you, obviously you stop. But like sometimes I be eating, but like I'm still hungry, but like my stomach feel bloated, so it's like okay, I gotta stop eating, let that digest down some, and then eat again. So definitely, at least once you get in the second trimester, start watching your portion size because it'd be definitely uncomfortable to like just to eat till you full or just try to like eat bigger portions. Cause I ain't gonna lie, it made my stomach cramp. Like I ain't. I ain't like that. The stomach definitely was cramping when I was doing that and not realizing that I don't need to be doing that. Also, during the 18 week phase, this is when I started to notice that my belly was starting to round because at first your girl was walking around regular. Like I did not notice, I guess I did not notice. People couldn't tell that it was a little baby growing up in here. Like I looked regular or I just looked like maybe I gained a few pounds, but it was like it's starting to round a little bit like it looked like something in there and then i also started moisturizing my belly more too as well in the second trimester just you know to prevent scratch marks or to help with the scratch marks and just moisturize the skin you don't want it to be dry especially if you in houston you know it's been hot as so you have to keep up with taking your showers and you don't want your skin to be dry so you definitely have to moisturize I've been craving like mashed potatoes, baked potatoes, baked beans, chocolate chips, and donuts. Like one of my coworkers bring do donuts every Monday to work and you got to have at least one. But now being 27 weeks and getting closer to the third trimester, I haven't been trying to eat as much sweets. I ain't gonna say as much, but like just eating sweets as I was at the beginning of the second trimester just because I am trying to watch my weight and we don't need all that sugar and all them sweets and stuff. But I was, at the beginning of the second trimester, it was like them cravings was something serious. I couldn't control it.
Fast forward to 20 weeks, I started noticing my ankle is swelling. But it's crazy to me because the ankle that's starting to swell, it's only one ankle that's swelling. But the ankle that's starting to swell is the ankle that used to swell up before I lost weight. But it's also the ankle that I think I did like a slight injury to. I went hiking a few years back before mo moving to Houston. And I think I may have tweaked it or whatever. And so like it would swell off and on. And then like once I lost weight, it kind of like just stopped. But like now, since your girl is pregnant, the ankle be swelling, so I had to wear compression socks. I ordered some uh, of Aeroflow, I think that's what it's called. So my insurance paid for it, so it was free, and then came with two packs. So I got two pairs of compression socks, and I like them, but for some reason, it like pushes the fluid towards my toes, and my toes feel weird. So like, that's kind of like the downside of wearing it. But other than that, they, they definitely feel nice, especially when I'm at work. Now, between the 23rd and the 24th week, uh, that's when I told my job. I finally told my job that. And my manager, she was okay with it. You know, she didn't really say too much, but congratulations. And, oh, you don't look like it. Da, 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 da. And then I put in my request to be off. We just get... A leave of absent, no pay, so pray for your girl. But yeah, my last day that I put in is for September 12th, which is a Tuesday. So that would be my last day. They give me two weeks of free time and chilling and preparing for the baby to come. Hopefully, the baby don't come before that or at work because I ain't trying to get birth at work. But you can't control that. But I will say I had trouble like deciding when my last day would be because I didn't want to like wait too late, but I also didn't want to do it too soon because like I said, we don't get paid for being off and your girls need her money. I also noticed that I became more thirsty. So I've been drinking out of my little mason jar. I drink out of this so I can keep up with how much I'm drinking because this is, um, I think, a half a gallon, if I'm not mistaken. And my midwife told me that we should be drinking at least a thousand mLs. And this whole a little over eighteen thousand, not eighteen thousand. Who that's a lot. A little <laughs> over eighteen hundred of water. So this is all I drunk today of water. I have been drinking like apple juice and some other stuff. So like you don't have to drink just water. You know, apple juice, fruit juice. You know, some good stuff. Some good healthy choices. So you don't just gotta constantly drink water all the time, but you do need to be making sure you're drinking liquid and at least a thousand mLs. I also noticed during this time that my belly button is starting to poke out and it feels weird. Like that be trying to touch it and I'd be like, uh-uh, don't do that, it feels weird. Let me show y'all what it looked like. You see it? Like this scar, I had, um, my belly button pierced and this is my belly button like it's starting to stick out it looks weird it's it's like soft like the skin i guess that was inside the belly button i don't like it it feels too weird excuse the hairiness i'm not shaving my belly i started having round ligament pain around this time it's basically uh the ligament that's connected to your uterus if I'm not mistaken, in the stomach or something like that. Don't quote me. He's looking up yourself. But anyway, I mean, I was having some pain. Well, I'm still having the pain, but like that's when I started noticing it. And I, I really only notice it when I'm like walking, cause I do a lot of walking, and like it doesn't last long. So if it lasts long, you may want to, you know, talk to your doctor, or whatever. But it only lasts like a few seconds up to a minute or whatever and then it kind of like ease on its own but like when i feel it i just like try to rub it out whatever y'all know i'm a massage therapist so i just like to rub it since it's a ligament you know just ease it because it's you know inflamed or whatever causing the tension but i will say the worst pain i ain't gonna say worse but 
that ligament pain got me is I'm, I want to say I was turning over in my sleep, but whatever I was doing in my sleep, that ligament pain woke me up. Like, I low key was nervous. I thought, like, ain't no way this is like, like, that's. <laughs> I was like, ain't no way we're finna go into labor. What is this feeling? Like, I had to, I don't know, it was weird. And, but this particular feeling lasted a little bit longer than a minute. So, you know, obviously I text my midwife or whatever. I, I really just think that I turned around in my sleep. But then, you know, I was try, I tried to find a position and walk it out and, you know, just kind of like breathe through it because I was definitely like, what is going on? Like, it definitely scared me. And it was on my left side too. I was just like, ooh. They all even woke that or they were like, what's wrong? <laughs> it was funny, but it wasn't funny then. So at 25 weeks, I started feeling the baby like move throughout the day. Cause usually this little thing be moving at night. I don't know what's up with nighttime, but now it be doing the day in the morning, be up before I be up. Kind of feel like the baby moving right now. And I think so. Sometimes it, be, it, can, it can be kicks or it can be hiccups. And like, the, I be feeling like my baby had hiccups a lot. Cause it be like, like you can feel it like the, the tempo of the like kick or whatever. Or the hits, I should say. But yeah, the, the baby definitely be doing a lot of him. I, want, I be wondering like, what the baby be doing? Like you stretching, turning over. It be feeling like it's, ooh. The baby must know I'm talking about him, y'all. Let me hurry up, cause the it be feeling weird, y'all. Like I guess no uh, more time go on, it gets stronger, and like you could definitely tell the impact is different from when I felt it the first time. Whew, the little baby, some serious. When I was at work one time, I definitely felt the baby kick my bladder. If it, not that, talking about weird, that was weird. It like. It just, <laughs> I could just imagine in my head, it was like, it was almost like, like you got a balloon and then like you squeeze it and then you know how like it push out at the end. And I felt like if I would have had just a little bit more ounce of urine inside my bladder, I probably would have peed on myself. I was like, oh my goodness. Like, I also noticed that I'm waking up from being hot. Like I usually don't wake up from being hot. So like we have like the ceiling fan on, we have a floor fan, and then we also drop the temperature, the AC down at night when we go to bed and then we got blackout curtains. And your girl be hot sometimes. I be waking up, booze and everything be sweating. And my midwife told me, you know, it's cause of hormones and all that stuff, but I definitely knows that I be extra, extra hot now. And I'm already hot in nature. So just imagine, be waking up, moist <laughs> so now we at the 26 and the 27 week the last few weeks and let's just say i caught my first charlie horse i woke up you know you do you do that little scratch that everybody do and man when i tell you that calf muscle that was up there with the, the left ligament pain, round pain that I had. Like, I haven't had a Charlie horse. First of all, I haven't had a Charlie horse in a long time, like even before pregnant. And so having one while pregnant, it like caught me off guard. <laughs> they had to like squeeze it out. It was funny. Like, that joke hurt. So that's some symptoms that you can have. Some char Like, you can catch Charlie horses a lot. I didn't know that. So I would recommend, you know, making sure you magnesium or potassium and, and eating your bananas, one of them. Don't, don't quote me. Check your doctor. Just trying to, just trying to say it's, it's something, it's a vitamin that you may have lacked or you may be a little dehydrated because obviously I had just woke up. I also been peeing a lot. Like, for an example, at work, I usually would pee maybe once or twice. And that would be like, when I first get there, maybe during lunch. Definitely not at the end of the day. I usually just leave and go home and I'll be good. But now, I'm peeing like four or five times at work. Like, legit, I'm peeing after every massage. I'm peeing before work, like before I start and after work. 
And it's just like, oh my goodness. I'm paying a lot at night, waking up in the middle of my sleep. And I'm, I ain't even in the third trimester, y'all. So just imagine when I get bigger. But what I have been doing is I'm, I stopped drinking by 12 a.m. Because I usually go to bed maybe like 1, 2, 3, 4 in most, case, most cases. If I take a nap, I be up late, just up. Sometimes the baby you're with me. One night, we both was up at like 4 o'clock in the morning. I'm like, what is what is you doing? Just up kicking. I was over here humming and singing a song, trying to go to baby, make the baby go to sleep. Sing a twinkle twinkle little star. <laughs> Please go to bed. I also have been noticing that it's a struggle. This belly is getting big. So it's a struggle turning in the bed, getting up. I have been trying to like be intentional on how I'm sitting in my posture. Like right now I'm kind of like sitting back. I should be like sitting up like this. But we chilling, you know what I'm saying? Having a conversation with y'all. But yeah, the worst the worst part for me is like just rotating in the bed. Like there's so many small movements and it's just like if I weren't pregnant, you could just easily just flip over. And like I gotta remember that, so I'm like I'm I move fast already, so I'm so used to like jumping up and running to do this, running to get that, flipping over. Now it's just like you got I gotta think about what I'm about to do before I do it. So it's like oh, I gotta get up, <laughs> and I don't like that. It takes too long. But definitely when I'm in the bed, it's like I don't even want to lay on my left side because I don't feel like turning over. You know how long it's gonna take <laughs> to turn over, and that's another thing. I'm a stomach sleeper, so my hips and stuff is starting to feel a little sore or like tight from like laying on one side too long. And that's because I don't want to turn over. <laughs> I'm tired of turning over. And don't let me be facing, or don't let me be laying on my right side and I got to get out the bed so I have to use the bathroom. So it's like I got to take 10 years to turn over, then 10 years to get up, and then go to the bathroom and pee. Then you get back in bed. Finally get comfortable. And by that time, a 30 minutes to an hour done passed. And it's like, dang, I got to pee again. So it's like you got to start this process all over. It's like, oh my goodness. I just want to sit on the toilet at this point. I said that. Like last night, I think I told that. that I was like, you know what? I might need to get me a little porta potty and just sit it on the side of the bed. And he was like, it's going to be smelling like pee in here. I was like, you right. House just going to be pissing. But I'm tired. <laughs> also been noticing the pregnancy, the pregnancy brain is, you know what I'm saying, might be a little real. Not might not be a theory. Cause I pretty much remember why I be placing this phone all the time. But now it's like I get up to go to the bathroom, put my phone on the kitchen table, use the bathroom, go to the kitchen, sit down. Now I'm like, dang, where I put my phone? I'm feeling all on the couch. I'm like, oh, I probably live in the bathroom. Go look in the bathroom. It ain't in there. So now I'm like, I done lost my phone. Whole time it's sitting on the kitchen counter. I'm like, I don't even remember putting it in. That has definitely been helpful with with that. Like I get up to fix me something to drink, sit the drink down, and like do something else. And then come back, sit on the couch. And as soon as I sit down and I look up, I'm like, Dang, I forgot to grab my cup. And once again, it's a lot of work to just get up and go get it. So you just looking like, do I really need it? But sometimes when Thad here, he just get up and get it for me. So I'm so glad for that. And that it just upsets me because that's, I usually don't. I ain't going to say upset me. It's, it's really mind blowing because it's just like, dang, I really forgot that I did that. Like, I be laughing at myself like, Cause I have a friend, a few friends actually, that's like that. And it'd be funny. And like now I'm doing it and it's like, dang, I'm turning into one of them. Mind you, these friends, they got kids too. So it's like, I get it, I get it. I see how you forgot. You put your phone right there two seconds ago and now you don't know where it's at. <laughs> oh my goodness, y'all, It's that's insane. Like, like what triggers that? Comment down below. Like what triggers the pregnancy brain? Like how do you be forgetting what you just did two seconds ago? That's crazy. So you guys, this is my journey of 
being pregnant. The second trimester is, I ain't gonna say officially, but it's almost officially over. And it's like, I'm nervous and excited for the third trimester because the third trimester, that's when she get real. But the, overall, the second trimester has been a breeze. My first trimester was good too. I thank God for that. But I ain't had nothing to do with none of that, only him. So I really just been chilling, enjoying everything, and trying to stay positive, peaceful, uh, relaxing, not trying to do too much, but still doing stuff to stay active. I've been trying to, now I've been trying to like sing, dance, play music. And, you know, just so the baby can, like, get used to my voice. Like, like feminist video now is good just because, you know, so the baby can get in tune with his mother. Dad also be talking to the baby a lot, too. I low-key feel like he talks to the baby more than me. I'm like, the baby will come out and go want to go straight to you. It'd be so cute. Overall, just trying to stay, you know, in my own little world. Not trying to do... Nothing that I ain't got to do or have to do or should do. Not trying to be in the end that's going to get my emotions too far left or too far right. Just trying to stay balanced because the baby do feel everything that you feel. Continue praying for the baby and me and all that stuff. And, you know, just taking it one day at a time. Getting a little nervous and excited and... I ain't gonna lie, now I'm like, oh, I wonder if it's a boy or girl. The other day, me and Thad had a conversation like, if it's a boy or girl, I mean, if it's a boy, like, are we gonna circumcise them or leave them how it is? And you know, it was just crazy to have these types of conversations. We've been thinking about names and I don't know, it's just fun. And then just like imagining if it's a girl, imagining if it's a boy, and then time is ticking, you guys. This is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Comment down below some of your second trimester stories. I definitely would love to hear them. And yeah, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for the next video.